Okay, as promised, in my next video, I would tell you a little bit more about gearing and go into that. So I've taken my chain case cover off there so we can look at it and talk about it. Let's just dive into this. Your top gear and bottom gear, I like to think of this as the same effect your front sprocket versus rear sprocket has on a dirt bike. So I like to compare or think of this as being the front sprocket and this is a rear sprocket. If you put a smaller front sprocket on, your bike will go slower. Or a bigger rear sprocket on, your bike will go slower. And vice versa. A bigger sprocket in the front on your dirt bike will speed it up. And a smaller sprocket on the rear of your dirt bike will speed it up. Now, those of you with a sharp eye know that that sprocket is not the stock sprocket on a 22 Riot 3 Pro. This is an older sprocket. It's a 17 tooth that I had kicking around. Let me tell you how I've got to where I'm at. This is, both of these sprockets are actually 17s. Up here on the bench, I have my 18 tooth that came on the bike, it came down there. So this is essentially what the stock Aero 3 and Riot 3s come with. They have a 17 on top and an 18 on bottom. A lot of people talk about, hey, if you want to speed your kit up, let's just flop those sprockets. So they stick an 18 up there, 17 down there. You have now sped your kit up by two teeth. You've gone from a 17 to an 18 on top, so that's one tooth quicker. And... You went from an 18 to a 17 on bottom, so that's another tooth quicker. Just swapping your gears like that, you have sped your kit up by two teeth. I found out that speeding your kit up by two teeth by having that 18 and a 17 there, it's just a little too high geared for what I like to gear my stuff for. Now let's talk about that. What do you want to gear your bike for? A lot of people don't like how you get out on a road and you have miles of road to get to where you're riding. So they like their bike geared really fast by having the 18 and 17 on. So your fifth gear isn't topped out at 35 miles an hour. When I have this 18 and a 17 on this bike, I can get close to 60 miles an hour, which I really don't need it that fast. I don't gear my bike for roads. I gear my bike for the tighter trees. In the tighter trees, I want my kit to just be ripping second gear. The stock setup for me with a 17 on top and 18 on bottom, is just a hair too slow. It pulls second gear too easy, so it's almost like I'm in between second and third gear when I'm in tighter stuff. I want it to just be ripping second gear as hard as it can with as much track speed as possible in the top end of the RPM. So I actually sped my kit up by one tooth by simply putting the 17 down here. That's only one tooth quicker. 18 and 17 would be two teeth quicker. Two teeth quicker was too much. In my previous video, I talked about how two teeth quicker, second gear is actually kind of hard to get into in the tighter trees. Yeah, so I slowed it down by putting one of my older timber sled sprockets on top. I was more or less testing. I kind of want one of these lightweight ones on there. Long story short, my bike is only geared up from stock by one tooth. Now, just a quick note, if you've got a... Aero 120 or a Riot 120, their 120 kits come stock with the 18 on top and the 17 on bottom, so they come stock geared a little quicker. I found that with a stock motocross bike, um, that gearing was just a touch too tall for my bike to really pull it hard in second gear in the tight trees. So I ended up doing essentially the same thing. I slowed the bike down by one gear and it ripped it really good. Now you're probably thinking, well, if you are slowed down by one gear and this kit is geared up by one gear, these kits are essentially geared the same. How are you pulling that big old Riot 3 track the same as you are pulling your Aero 120 track? Well, if you've been paying attention to my videos, you know I did a bunch of motor work to this bike. This bike has eight more horsepower over stock. Because of that, power-wise, I'm pulling a bigger track and it feels exactly the same as my stock Yamaha. Yamaha with a 120 track did. I'm really liking it. You know, I was about to end my video and I realized this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't talk about the gears on the drive of your bike. So, side note, I have a big old strong super bike, 1100cc chain on here. It's been awesome. Anyways, the gears on your bike or from the bike to the drive back here work exactly the same as your dirt bike does. Bigger up in the front speeds it up, slower in the rear will also speed it up. Right now, this is a 
17, I think, and I got a 13 up there. Before I started messing around with this stuff, I wanted to put a 14 up here with everything slowed down. I wanted to speed everything up by one tooth, but a 14 would not fit on my setup, so I ended up doing this instead. This is actually really easy to do to switch these gears around, so don't be afraid to do it. I hope that doesn't just confuse everybody, but that is our gearing talk for the day. This beautiful specimen over here in the background, I hope to make another snow bike kit with it next winter. I want to get a Riot 120S kit, so short track and lower, and I want to set that up and hopefully get my kids out with me a little bit more. Hope I can find the funds to make it happen because this thing is sucking the life out of me.